and I'm just gonna lightly go over because if you go too hard on one spot you're gonna create like a dip and then you're gonna end up laying more bondo and um, have just my net out all over again what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video yes today we're gonna be working on the rear bumper and by the way guys the answer to the question from the last video if you guys watched it I'm keeping track all right it's around five to seven K okay and that's me including some parts that I know I've changed that I may have not mentioned in the video so I'll let you know whoever is the closest you know last video that you guys will see from this I was learning how to bundle you can go check that out at our target designs and thankful thankful for target designs to let us borrow his garage for this video and also for future videos to get stuff done with some quality lighting and not outside some apartments all right so thank you very much to you and um everybody make sure you go to his channel make sure you write down you know thank you so much here from s blaze and now let's get into this video all right so what we're we doing i'm going to be sending the bumper uh get rid of the excess of the bundle that i laid on there and shaping up the bumper to make it nice and smooth when you put your hand across and there's not any bumps so when you do paint it the paint doesn't look wavy because it will show in the paint so kind of the same process we did with the front bumper but i didn't show you guys much i'm waiting to put that on the big finale of that video when the bumper is fully done and painted and installed in the car for good all right so you guys will see that process but you guys will see how it works more with this one all right so first I got 120 grit here and I'm just gonna lightly go over because if you go too hard on one spot you're gonna create like a dip and then you're gonna end up laying more bondo and um, have just my net out all over again so I learned my lesson with the front bumper so right now we're just gonna go smoothly and all the way across all the way across all right so that way we make sure the whole thing is leveled out. That being said, I'm gonna give you guys some, you know, some beats to vibe to. And we'll get this going, all right? Let's do it. Alright guys, so I did find this thing, it's called Dur Block. it's a nifty nifty tool when you're doing this type of work, very very crucial because right here it can grip to the back of these papers, the sandpapers, and um, it'll just make your life a whole lot easier when sanding if you have one of these, especially when you gotta block it by hand like I'm doing right now, instead of using my hands like I was earlier, found this bad boy, found this bad boy. So that's what we're gonna be using, all right? Let's get back to sending. All right guys, so now I'm working on the sides right here. So that was this little spot right here that um, we had said it too much prior to putting Bondo on. So I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that down. Here there was a little crack. So I'm gonna smooth that out. Smooth right here, here. Anywhere you see Bondo, I'm gonna go ahead and smoothen it out. And um, pretty much this will be the last thing we do today. And then I'll come back tomorrow and I'll put part three up, which will be finishing up the other side, which I haven't touched yet, this is the driver's side, I, I mean passenger side, I still got to do the driver's side, and then um, also lay a little bit more bondo on some cracks, like right here, there's a, it's a big crack right here, I got to put bondo in, and also we got to put it back on the car and see how much we needed to build that up to be, you know, uh, perfectly fit with the tail lights, and yeah, so. I'm gonna go ahead, you guys are gonna see me working on this for a little bit, and then we'll get to the um, outro and make sure you stick it to the end um, so you can find out what to expect next, alright? Mm -hmm. 
Let's get to work. some bondo to the areas that need it. Here it is. I mixed it up just like I was thought. Now it's time to put it up. spatula uh, before I'm completely done all right guys I'm gonna do my outro when I get home because my battery is literally on red is about to die so I'll see you guys when I get home okay all right guys so we're back home now and first of all I just want to reiterate so what we did in this video I'm basically prepping the rear bumper to get it together to put primer on it and to put paint and to get installed on the car as soon as possible Alright, so thank you so much if you watch this video all the way through. I will be dropping another video either tonight or tomorrow of working on the other side of the bumper and getting it ready and fit it on the car and see what else, what other adjustments we need to make um, before it's fully ready for primer, alright? And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss any more videos that will be coming out in this channel, alright? Make sure you do that, okay? And with that being said, some news about what we're gonna be doing in the future. So what we have planned so far is to do our own custom aero kit, our own um, trunk setup, and other cool stuff that I'll let you guys in when they come out, alright? Again, thank you so much. Make sure you go show Autarky Design some love. He let us borrow his garage for the time being while he's still here with us. And again, keep hitting that like button. Keep hitting the subscribe button, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Peace.